Hello, my name is Pedro and I am a second year PhD student in Brazilian and Portuguese literatures in the Department of Spanish and Portuguese at UCSB. Also, I am a TA and I teach Portuguese to foreign speakers. Portuguese is a lower division course offered yearly by the department's language program. By the end of an academic year, students will have developed basic proficiency in Portuguese. Apart from grammar and vocabulary, students learn to use Portuguese for communication in real and meaningful situations. They also develop an appreciation of the various cultures of the Portuguese speaking world. As a Portuguese language instructor, I always had some struggles in teaching culture in my classes. There are many resources for teaching culture, but I always tended to read a large amount of texts about cultural aspects. The students would get bored with something that should be attractive and catchy. I also tended to spend a short time on the culture portion of the class. In talking with other language TAs, we found this was because of three things. The first one is because the study of culture involves time. Many teachers do not feel they can spare the time in an overcrowded curriculum. Second, the fear of not knowing enough to explain certain cultural aspects. In my case, I don't know enough about Brazilian and Portuguese speaking African cultures. Third, it involves dealing with students' attitudes, not just vocabulary and grammar. This is a somewhat threatening, hazy and unquietful area. Once I knew these reasons, I tried to make the cultural part of my class more attractive and at the same time raise what is called pragmatics awareness. So I organized an activity in which the main learning goal is teaching culture in a more student-centered way. I have seen that my students find class more engaging when they know more about me and my personal life. It is normal for students to ask themselves, what does my instructor like? What is his favorite type of music? They want to know you. So I decided to do an activity that shows them a little bit about my life in Portugal. The activity starts by watching a video of me eating dinner with my friend in Portugal. I didn't even know I was being recorded, so it was a very genuine cultural video to show to the students. The advantage of a video over the text I would give them about culture is that the students can be in contact with the real situation, language and scenario. Since I am in the video, the students pay attention because they want to find out what I am doing with my friend. After watching a few minutes of this video, I can raise a lot of questions about the cultural aspects shown in the video. I can put the questions in perspective with the culture the students identify the most. For example, I ask the students, what do you think about the environment in the video? Do you consider some of my gestures rude? Do you notice anything culturally different in the video? What happens normally with this activity is that the students like to talk about their culture. They use Portuguese as best they can to talk about the differences between their own life, what they saw in the video and what other students are describing. So in the end, the students end up practicing pragmatics awareness in Portuguese and leading the discussion between themselves. I end up taking a secondary role, a moderator role. It's a fun activity to share experiences, compare cultures and talk openly about cultural differences and similarities. Instead of me lecturing about the culture from a text, the students compare the cultures in a healthy and rich debate among themselves. E até fazem em português.